So my name is Kathy Kelly and I own and operate Therapeeds. It is a pediatric, physical, occupational, and speech facility located in Shelby Township. So I have been married to my husband Ryan for 18 years now. We just hit 18 years. And um, we have twin daughters, Mallory and Bridget, and they are the reason that Therapeeds was born. Uh, they were born at 25 weeks and two days. Uh, we spent 22 weeks in the NICU at Beaumont. So Mallory weighed one pound 11 ounces and was 12 inches long, 12.2 inches long. And Bridget weighed one pound nine ounces and was 12 inches long. So how Therapeeds came to be was that they had been in therapy for their whole lives. And I was having a hard time finding a place that could accommodate their needs. So one day I was very frustrated and I came home from work and I said, we should just open our own place. So a week later, my husband had to have pretty major shoulder surgery. So he was out of commission and started doing research. And I came home and he said, okay, let's do it. And I said, okay, what are we doing? And he said, we're gonna open a therapy place. Okay, so it took us about 18 months. Um, I quit my job and Therapeeds um, was born and we have been seeing patients since May of 2014. So we're coming up on eight years, which is fantastic. So Therapeeds offers pediatric, physical, occupational, speech, and feeding therapy. Uh, our clientele are from two weeks old, and I think right now our oldest is 16. We can accommodate older um, if need be. So what people might not know is that we as therapeuts can accommodate any diagnosis uh, or not even a diagnosis. If, they're, if parents are just concerned about something that they're seeing, they can come and we can point them in the right direction. The one good thing that Therapeeds offers that most uh, facilities do not is that I am not a therapist, I am a special needs mom. So I opened Therapeeds from a parent standpoint and not a therapist standpoint. So when parents call and I hear that stress in their voice, if they have questions or they're getting the runaround, I can talk them off the ledge give them some inside tips, um, some helpful information, some resources, and um, just kind of put their mind at ease a little bit. I think the best part of owning Therapeeds is that I get to see the kids make progress and watching them from the first time that they come in, some might be scared, some might have a little separation anxiety, and just seeing them blossom and grow and make that progress, whether it be, you know, finally they're graduating or just making the little progress where they were before they wouldn't chew and now they're chewing or um, they couldn't roll over and now they're doing a half roll. So every little we accomplishment that they make, every little step that they take, we are their biggest cheerleaders. So I think the biggest career highlight that I have is actually just opening this place. I was a juvenile probation officer, so this was a completely different business atmosphere than what I had been accustomed to. So just opening it and making it successful. Since we've been open, we have doubled our space. We're actually looking at opening a second location. So. Um, I'm very proud of what I've accomplished. So when I get the day off, uh, we are very much outside people. Uh, we love to swim, we're boaters. In the winter, we do snowmobiling and are outside. I love to go for walks. It helps me clear my, my head, um, think things through. And um, I go to the gym. It's uh, my safe place to get clarity. The biggest challenge that I have had is that I've had to learn, and I'm still learning, that I can't please everybody. No matter what I do, um, there's always going to be somebody with a negative outlook. They might not like what we do or how we handle things. And 
I think just as a mom, as a woman, you know, you want to make everybody happy. And, and that is the hardest part for me. I think the biggest advice that I can give is that getting the support from your family is humongous. I can't imagine doing this and not having the support from my family, not just my husband and my daughter, but from, you know, moms and dads and aunts and uncles and cousins. Um, so when I'm having a bad day and I get home, it's, it's nice to be able to talk about it and get other people's input. Um, I think that's the biggest thing is just having, if you can find a circle of supporters, um, whether it be family or friends, um, I think that is huge. We, Therapies, we like to donate. Uh, so some of the causes that are near and dear to our hearts are Make-A-Wish. Uh, we did Make-A-Wish with my daughter, Mallory, and it was the best experience ever. So we like to donate to Make-A-Wish and then some local charities as well. We're very um, invested in, um, it's called FEDS, it's Family Exploring Down Syndrome. We do a lot with them. We do um, just a lot, even with schools, we try and donate. And um, in fact, we just donated to uh, Romeo Parks and Rec are starting a football team for special needs kids. And we donated to, for them to buy uh, uniforms. <laughs> I think the fun fact that I can think of is that I love my curly hair. A lot of people with curly hair don't like it. I have embraced it and I love it and I think it has been become part of me and my personality. Um, the last thing I can say is that if you're thinking about opening a business, finding something that you're passionate about. So Therapies has been a passion of mine because of my daughters and um, It's been a wonderful experience and I'm looking forward to many, many years. <laughs>